let's jump on to right outer join in the right outer join the table onto the right side whether it matches the join condition or not still you will have all the outputs from table one you will have all the records which satisfy the join condition so how do you define which table is onto the left side or the right side it's nothing but whatever you specify before and after the join condition now in this case we are trying to do a right outer join on these tables okay so members is still onto the left side and books is onto the right side the only change that we have from the previous query to this query is this keyword right outer join so let me run this query we'll try to match each and every query each and every record with their key columns and try to see the output let us try to debug the output okay this looks good right so we have our results and we have the tables onto the left side now in this case guys remember we have everything from the right table that means books table will have all the records correct if you see on the books table we have nine records that means in the output also will have nine records from the left table on to the i mean left table on to the join condition we will have only the matching records in the output okay so we are trying to uh, query the member name and the category of the book the query remains same but we see a different output so what happens in this case so books is being joined to the members now from books table it will start matching in this way because books is on to the right side and the and the join condition is running from right to left so the book id 1 okay book id 1 is not available in the table in the members table so what happens the category column we have the business in the output perfect but there is no member name which is which has borrowed this book wolf of wall street and that's why we see there is no book id correct so that means the table onto the right side we are having all the records in the output so this first book category i would rather also get the category uh, sorry title column just to make the query more simple all right now it makes sense so if we see wolf of wall street this book was never borrowed by any member and that's why we have the value as null right now the second book id we see start with y we have it this in the output we have the category as inspire because this is on to the right side and looking at our diagram we know that all the records from the right table will be in the output but from the left table that's members table there is no member who has ever borrowed this book so we have a null value all right now when it comes to the third book id we have the output of the title and the category that's the one thing and the category is inspire and we also have a member called john who has borrowed this book in the past right and then the next column is this fourth book id real steel and we see that real steel business is in the output but on to the left side there is no member who has ever borrowed this book so if you see the output we have all the records from the right side table that's books and on to the left side table we have only the matching records so the records that are not matching what oracle will do is it will print it null because the wolf of wall street it was never borrowed by any member so we have a null value start with y it was never borrowed by any member so we have a null value but if a book was borrowed by a member we will have the value so that's right outer join we are trying to get all the records from the right table and put it into the output so tell me this thing guys if i shift the table positions let's take i'll shift this table over here and i will shift 
this table over here this is exactly same as our left outer join in this case in the left outer join we are joining from members to books in right outer join we are again joining from members to books so the output will be exactly same in a join condition be very careful what exactly is written before the join clause and what table is mentioned after the join clause now you see for this left outer join we have five records in the output and i'll run this query as well and we will see exactly five records in the output it's exactly same so be very careful when working with left join and right join you have to look at the position of the table from where the join is moving on